Traveling is a means to success. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected. Things to do in Trinidad and Tobago's. The twin islands of Trinidad and Tobago, located off the coast of Venezuela, are a lesson in contradiction, large and small, industrial and pristine, developed and not. However, they are part of the same country, share the same spirit, and exist in harmony. On Trinidad, the oil and gas industry are a big part of local life, with sightseeing tours revealing mangrove swamps sitting beside smokestacks. In the capital, Port of Spain, highlights include the House of Parliament, Red House, the Magnificent Seven, a string of impressive colonial houses, Queen's Park Savannah, Maracas Bay, and the Royal Botanical Gardens. The southern end of Trinidad is home to Pitch Lake, which draws travelers with its title of world's largest natural asphalt deposit, while Shaguarama's boardwalk is also worth the visit for walking, cycling, and swimming. Trinidad is a bastion of untouched Caribbean landscape, ringed with white sand beaches and dotted with coconut palms. From Scarborough, island landmarks. Landmarks such as Pigeon Peak and Fort King George are easy to access on day trips, while both islands offer plentiful opportunities for bird watching, with the Acerite Nature Center and the Caroni Bird Sanctuary being top choices for naturalists. And of course, there is the water, sail, swim, dive, and snorkel. Book a reef is a favorite for getting to know the island's underwater life via glass bottom boat or through your own snorkel mask. Caroni Swamp Caroni Swamp is a 12,000 acre swamp situated just south of Port of Spain on Trinidad and Tobago's west coast. Being the second largest mangrove wetlands on the island and the natural nesting home for one of the country's national birds, Caroni Swamp is protected under the Ramsar Convention as a wetland of international importance. The swamp runs along the banks of the Caroni River and features a maze of channels and lagoons. The central section is designated as a wildlife sanctuary, with the mangrove trees providing the ideal nesting place for the distinctive scarlet ibis birds, along with around 100 species of migratory birds, making it perfect for bird watchers. The main attraction for nature lovers occurs just before sunset, when the ritualistic roosting habits of thousands of the brightly colored ibis can be observed close up. The birds fly in unison to feed and nest here, creating a dazzling cloud of red against the evening sky. Caroni Swamp is naturally a popular tourist destination, and flat bottom boats with experienced guides conduct regular tours through the mangroves, helping you to spot the many bird species and other swamp inhabitants, such as crabs, caimans, and boa constrictors. Book a Caroni Wetlands boat tour or a Caroni Bird Sanctuary tour from Port of Spain to experience the natural wonders of this unique swamp for yourself. Las Cuevas Beach Meaning the cave's beach in Spanish, this long stretch of blue flag beach is so called due to the small caves that line its shore. A beach lover's paradise, Las Cuevas is blessed with soft white sand lapped by turquoise waters, and is framed by beautiful flowering trees. Las Cuevas Beach is just a short drive from Maracas and is usually far less crowded than its more commercialized neighbor. It has everything you might need for a lazy day on the beach though, with a car park, snack bar, shower and changing facilities, plus lifeguards on duty until 6 p.m. If lazing about in the sun doesn't appeal, there are always the caves in which to seek shelter from the tropical heat, plus the beach is ideal for a long stroll or a relaxing swim. A day trip to Las Cuevas Beach from Port of Spain involves a scenic drive along the coast, revealing some stunning views of the Caribbean Sea. Your tour is likely to stop at the Maracas Lookout on the way and at Maracas again to sample its famous bacon and fish sandwich on the return journey. A visit to Las Cuevas Beach is also included on the coastal tour of Trinidad itinerary. San Fernando The industrial capital of Trinidad, San Fernando is the second most populated city in Trinidad and Tobago. 
a good base for exploring the southern part of the island, it has plenty of attractions of its own, from San Fernando Hill and its fantastic city views to downtown Saris Promenade, a popular spot for open-air concerts. Caroni Bird Sanctuary the Scarlet Ibis is the fiery-colored national bird of Trinidad and Tobago, and its daily flight home to roost at the Caroni Bird Sanctuary offers birdwatchers and nature lovers an outdoor experience unlike others in the Caribbean. Tour mangrove swamps with a guide to learn about the area and see the ibis's stunning plumage. Port of Spain Trinidad and Tobago's capital city boasts an immersive blend of history and culture, providing visitors with plenty of music, art, food, and tradition. Highlights of the town include the rolling 260 acres, 105 hectares, of greenery and historic buildings found at Queen's Park Savannah, as well as the city's many artistic festivals and celebrations, including the world-famous Carnival. Grand Riviera this village on the north coast of Trinidad is an ecotourism hotspot, best known for its leatherback sea turtle nesting grounds at Grand Riviere Beach. One of the more remote settlements of Trinidad and Tobago, Grand Riviere takes pride in its sustainability practices and low impact activities, including kayaking, bird watching, and hiking to such places as Amar River waterfall. Woodford Square in the heart of downtown Port of Spain, Trinidad, and Tobago, Woodford Square is home to many of the city's most important buildings, including the Red House and the Holy Trinity Cathedral. It was here that Dr. Eric Williams, the country's first Prime Minister, addressed the public at political meetings that led to the nation's eventual independence. Nylon Pool a short boat ride from Pigeon Point, just off the Buku Reef, Nylon Pool is one of the most popular swimming spots in Tobago. The waters at this natural swimming pool are usually clear and warm, and snorkelers can expect to see all sorts of colorful sea creatures ranging from parrotfish to queen angelfish. Mayaro Bay on the southeastern coast of Trinidad, Mayaro Bay has long been a popular getaway spot for Trinidadians, particularly over the Easter holiday. The beaches in this area aren't as developed as some of the more popular spots on the northern end of the island, but what it lacks in resorts, it makes up for in laid-back charm. Charlotteville Straddling Manowar Bay and Pirates Bay on the northern end of Tobago, the fishing village of Charlotteville is a great spot for travelers who'd prefer to forego bigger resorts in favor of low-key rest and relaxation. It's also usually a good place for snorkeling, with crystalline waters and an abundance of colorful fish. Book Reef this protected marine park is set just off the shores of Buku Beach, Pigeon Point, and Shore Bay, and boasts a spectacular display of aquatic life. Though parts of the coral reef are under threat from overuse from touristic activities, the local community still offers glass bottom boat tours, plus recreational offerings such as snorkeling, scuba diving, and sustainable fishing. Scarborough as Tobago's capital city and economic hub, Scarborough is home to just over 17,000 people, around one-third of the island's population. Europeans settled it in the middle of the 17th century, and many colonial relics, including Fort King George, one of the most popular tourist attractions in town, remain in Scarborough to this day. Windward Road Stretching from just outside of Scarborough all the way up to Charlotteville, Windward Road offers beautiful views of Tobago's coast and countryside. While driving the entire length of the 25-mile road usually only takes around 90 minutes, it's worth taking your time to soak in the scenery and make stops along the way. Emperor Valley Zoo Emperor Valley Zoo is Trinidad and Tobago's largest zoo, located north of the Queen's Park savanna on the island of Trinidad. The zoo houses familiar animals, such as lions and giraffes, and also showcases flora and fauna unique to the area, including crab-eating raccoons, boa constrictors, and Trinidad motmots, an endemic bird species. Crown Point the heart of Tobago's tourist hub, Crown Point is the focal area of the island. 
It provides a range of accommodations, from basic to luxe, and activities near the Arthur Napoleon Raymond Robinson International Airport. Offering a variety of things to do, see, and eat, including a restaurant row and a few nightlife options, the town is best known for its pristine beaches. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.